Hello, and welcome to Just Another Real Estate Podcast, where we'll speak with Arizona's most successful real estate professionals to better understand their business, current market conditions, team and business building strategies, successes, and challenges. This podcast is brought to you by Dwell Inspect Arizona with your host, Sean Garvey. Hello, and welcome to Just Another Real Estate Podcast. I am your host, Sean Garvey. Today, we are going to discuss uh, a solo podcast, something that I find to be important. Hopefully, we bring some value and help you improve your business. Um, so the subject today, and we did just write a blog article on this, is 12 questions you should ask your real estate agent about a home inspection. So you being the client or the buyer or even the seller. So first question, when is a home inspection needed and are you able to recommend a reliable home inspector? So when is a home inspection needed? Um, That's an interesting question. Uh, 90% of the time or so, a home inspection is needed when a buyer enters into contract with a house they are looking at purchasing. This is called your due diligence period. State of Arizona, standard on the contract is 10 days. We've seen it shortened during the frenzy time to three days. Uh, Sometimes it is extended due to extenuating circumstances, 15 days, 20 days, who knows. Whatever you write in, whatever the real estate agent and you write into the contract. Um, once that's established, then you typically engage a home inspector to come evaluate the, the condition of the house. There are other times when a home inspection is needed. So sometimes a home inspection is, is suggested or needed uh, when you choose to sell a house. The idea behind this is called a pre-listing inspection. Pre-listing inspections are great, although generally not used. Um, and I think that should change personally, but Pre-listing inspections are great because it allows the seller to be proactive. What does that mean? Well, they'll have an understanding of what the home inspector that the buyer is coming in when they enter into contract will likely find. If they find anything substantial in the pre-listing inspection, they have one time, um, time to engage in a a contractor of their choice to fix uh, what has been discovered. That way they have the ability to negotiate maybe prices or search for the best deal or search for the product that's best for them. Two, um, they have a strategy. Um, Basically, they would know what the condition of the exact house is so they could price it accordingly. And when, with and when the buyer, when they do their inspections, tries to negotiate, they say, we already know the condition of the house we've presented to you and you don't have the opportunity to negotiate. You went into the contract with this house knowing these factual items. So that leads us into, are you able to recommend a reliable home inspector? Um, a home inspector, while they're not in business with real estate agents, they are certainly an extension of their team. And every good real estate agent should be able to recommend at least one good home inspector. Hopefully, and obviously, you would choose to well inspect Arizona, but of course, I'm biased. Question number two, what do you like about your favorite home inspector? It's pretty simple. Um, It should be that my home inspector is thorough. Uh, They explain the information clearly and concisely uh, in a neutral tone or unbiased tone. They have uh, have top-of-the-line software and tools. They deliver the reports quickly, and they crush it with customer service. Pretty simple. That's what your favorite home inspector should be. Uh, What is most important when comparing price for the home inspection? Another great question. Um, I believe that a home inspector should value themselves based on the work that they provide. Um, Home inspection probably, although I don't have the number for sure, is looking at somewhere in the range of a couple thousand items in your prospective house or a good one does. And so that home inspector should have the same energy coming into every property, should be high energy, they should be thorough, they should be diligent and competent. Um, The price of that should reflect on their experience and training. Uh, This is not something, in my opinion, where you want to skimp. This is a very important step in the process, and a good home inspector can discover thousands, even hundreds of thousands of dollars of repairs substantial repairs around the property. And so it's important to invest in a good home inspection. Basically, what I'm saying is you get what you pay for in this circumstance. What does a home inspection cover and what is not covered? That's an excellent question. Um, That's question number four. 
question number four. Um, so a home inspection is non-invasive, non-destructive, mechanical and structural evaluation of the property as it is on the day of the inspection. There's a standard of practice. In Arizona, we have one that's defined by the Air Arizona BTR. This is called the AZ ASHI standards. Uh, can be found online. It basically sets the tone for what the home inspection covers and what it doesn't. Basically, a home inspector will look at the major mechanical and structural issues that are visible and present at the time of the inspection. Why I stress visible and present is because um, if the home is occupied, there is furniture, uh, stuff in the closet, boxes in the garage, the home inspector will not move those. They cannot move those. They're not allowed to. It's not our house. Um, so you want to make sure that as much of the house, when going into the home inspection, as much of the house is visible and available at the time of the inspection. What is not covered? Things that are not covered, for example, predicting the future, seeing through walls, tiny little superficial scratches, or maybe little cracks. Um, we're thinking big picture here, things that are going to cost you $500 or more. Question number six, do you recommend that I attend the inspection with the inspector? The answer to that question is yes, you should attend the inspection with the inspector. Um, typically, and it varies state to state, but our team will get into the house approximately three hours prior to the review time. Um, so our team will inspect the house for three hours prior to the review time. At the designated review time is when we encourage you to show up. When you show up at the, the review time, we'll spend at least an hour with you describing everything that we found, showing the report, and taking you around the house, showing you key features of the house where um, you may need to know how to shut off the water, uh, where the electrical shut off is, and then anything that we's, we've discovered that needs um, three-dimensional observation. Um, if you'd like to, you are certainly welcome to come to the property prior to the inspection or the review time, I mean. Um, but we just ask that you don't distract the inspector. Like I said, there's thousands of things that they're looking at, and they need to be able to focus on the house uh, and, and so that they can do their best job for you. Buyer. Question number seven. How long does the inspection usually take for the size of property that I am purchasing? Uh, that's a difficult question. A couple things are, are um, factored in. One, of course, is size. Um, and then the second thing is, is age and condition. So, um, you can have an old house that's, that's very well cared for. You can have a brand new house that's poorly cared for. Those will be factors of time. Most houses fall into the three hour range, two and a half, three hour range for inspection. Number eight, do I receive a report of the inspection findings and what does that include? Yes, absolutely. Yes. You're going to receive a report on the same day as the inspection. We deliver a digital report via email that has findings, so comments, deficiencies, maintenance items, stuff like that. Um, it's going to have pictures, and it's going to have tons of factual information. Um, our particular report includes links to blog articles, videos. Um, it's very interactive, very, very helpful. It also helps you to understand it. So the inspection and the review are two parts of the experience. The third part is really taking the report, dissecting and understanding um, what the home inspector displayed. Number nine, before we schedule the inspection, are there any issues you have noticed with the home? An amazing question. Um, so we call this special concerns. Typically when an inspection is booked, when somebody is scheduling the inspection, we talk with the client and ask them if they have any special concerns that they've already seen about the property. This allows our inspector to be on high alert for items that the client or the buyer's agent have noticed prior to the inspector getting there. If we work as a team, we can provide a better inspection. So we look for those clues. We don't act as if we're going to find them. We ask for them so that we can better understand them. Additionally, please, realtors, um, if you will, send us the spuds. The spuds are the document or the disclosure of the house from the seller. And again, it can give us some clues and help us to better understand and provide a better inspection. Number 10, how long does it take inspectors to deliver the finalized report? It really depends on your home inspector. Our team delivers them on the same night as the inspection. 
Some companies have a standard of 24 hours, some 72. Um, it all depends on their proficiency and ability to work on the report and then send it out efficiently. So like I said, our team is same day as the inspection. Number 11, will the inspection report include suggestions for repairs, improvements, and quotes? The inspection report will discover deficiencies or perceived deficiencies that need further evaluation and safe, observe safety standards as well. May have include some maintenance items um, such as painting and stuff like that. It will not include a plan for repairs, will not include improvements, and it will not include quotes. Home inspector is like your uh, general doctor. Your general doctor you go to because you think you have an issue. General doctor then pinpoints that issue and then sends you to a specialized doctor for treatment of that issue. So think of the home inspector as the first step in the condition, in discovering the condition of the house. You may need to do additional research or obtain additional quotes following the inspection. Number 12, is there an opportunity to negotiate with the seller based on the findings of the inspection report? That's not a question for us. Um, the answer is, is potentially. Um, it certainly depends on your contract that you entered in with, your knowledge of the property that you entered into contract with. As I mentioned, say the pre-inspection report may have an effect on that. Um, you may be purchasing the house as is. You may not be purchasing the house as is. So it all really depends on, on the situation that you entered into contract with when purchasing this house. So that being said, have we seen our reports affect the price change on the back end? Absolutely. Um, and so from that, I would say there is, yes, there is the potential to negotiate with seller after the discovery of the home inspection. I hope this was helpful. Um, this blog article and PDF is available on our website and in the latest newsletter that we just sent. Our website is dwellinspectaz.com. You can check it out on our blog and download it. And it's something that you can give to your clients to better prepare them for the home inspection. Thanks again for listening in to Just Another Real Estate Podcast. If you would like to be a guest on Just Another Real Estate Podcast, please reach out to our team. We are looking for guests. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Just Another Real Estate Podcast. For the latest episodes, please subscribe and be sure to follow Dwell Inspect Arizona on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. To contact Dwell Inspect Arizona, call us at 480-867-4599. If you'd like to be a guest on the podcast, email our team at office at dwellinspectaz.com.